you have debt? Does that weigh on you? Do you wake up anxious and afraid not knowing what you're going to do next month? Are you too hard on yourself and call yourself stupid for being in the situation in the first place? Please stop because I want to teach you a few tricks and a few tips to give you that have helped a lot of women that came to me for help to pay back their debt even if they had little or no money left at the end of the month or they were living paycheck to, to paycheck. So it is possible. It's not necessarily easy, but it is possible. And I'm gonna teach you how to do it. Hi everyone, I'm Rosvita from rosvitaherman.com and every single week, I help women just like you be successful in every area of their lives. In my years of coaching, I have helped many women get out of debt. And if you wanna hear an incredible story, please check the video, which I'm gonna put it up here somewhere, of my dear client, Ailey. When she came to me, she was really, really scared and she was anxious and she was almost in panic because she didn't have more than like five or ten dollars at the end of the month after paying the bills and the minimum payment on her credit cards. She had accumulated a lot of debt and she had no idea how will she ever get out of it. What she did next was a very courageous move and a very scary move. She got into more debt to work with me to help her get rid of debt. And guess what happened? In five months, she paid all her debt she cut her credit cards so she paid off all their credit cards and she started saving a thousand dollars per month please keep in mind that her paycheck has not changed so she was not making more money she just adjusted a lot of things that helped her to change her life completely and if you want to do that I'm going to teach you exactly what I taught her and exactly how I worked with her so you can do this too by yourself. Excited? So the first thing I want you to do is to track all your spending. I want to look back on the past month or the past two months just to have an average to see how did you spend your money? How much did you pay for gas, for maybe you got your nails done, for food, for groceries, for eating out, for your daily to go coffee for your Netflix subscription for anything like please write down every single expense that you had for at least the past two months and bi-monthly so you see exactly what's changed each month or how is what's your spending habit where do your money go most people have no freaking idea how they spend their money they just know that at the end of the month they have nothing or they have less than nothing they're overdrafting or they're getting into debt, they get a new credit card or who knows what else. So it's really, really important that the first thing that you do is make sure you know where you put your money. The second thing you need to do is to find out what's your interest rate. So find out on each of your credit card or loan, what's the interest rate that you're gonna pay for that. And also if you have many loans or many debts, and mortgage is one of them, I want you to stress less about your mortgage because usually mortgages have a very low interest rate so you're not losing a lot of money. If however, mortgage is the only debt you have and you wanna pay it faster, then I would advise you to look to see how much, how can you decrease the years. So if your mortgage is over 30 years, see, can you cut five years from that or can you cut 10 years from that? Go and talk to the bank and see what will be your payment plan if you do that and how much money will you be saving because usually if you cut five years then it means that the third three percent or whatever your interest rate is on that mortgage from the whole amount of money that you're paying you will be saving every single year so that might be a lot of money that might be a few thousand dollars a year that you're saving if you're able to pay a little bit more every month so if this is your only debt, I would advise you going to the bank and see what's possible for you. How can you increase a little bit your payment plan, maybe just like with $50 or $100, maybe something that's not super uncomfortable or something that's not 
very hard to do, but it's a little bit of stretch. But in the end, you can save how much money. So make sure you do the math. If you have a lot of credit cards and stuff, make sure you know how much each one has, how, what's the interest rate, and you have to start paying the first one that has the highest interest rate. So you don't pay necessarily the one that like you have only 500 on this one, so I'm gonna pay it fast. Only it has the highest interest rate because the ones that have that are the ones that you're spending more money on because you're wasting money paying more to something that you don't really use. So that's the second thing, check your interest rate. The third thing is make a plan. So this is something not easy, but if you are committed, you can do it. And if you need help, I'm here to guide you. Just drop me a comment or email me or just find me anywhere and I will be there to help you out the same way I did with Ivy. So you want to come up with a plan. You want to have a plan for paying the highest interest rate credit card first. So how much would that cost? Like how much the bill should be each month for you to cover that? At the same time, Please keep in mind to pay a little bit more than your minimum payment on everything else. So if your other credit cards need to, I don't know, they're like $50 per month, pay $60 per month. Pay a little bit over your minimum. This way, you're going to help those clear out faster too. So depending on how much money you make, where can you cut from. Also, please watch my other videos. I have another video on how to budget. Uh, effectively and it's like the 50 30 20 rule of money so I would advise you watch that too and after you watch it and after you divide then you know pay things out make sure you have a good plan in place and make sure you know exactly in how many months and what will be the payment plan each month for you to get rid of the highest interest rate credit card and then go with the second and the third and keep going until you have nothing left and of course don't go back to overspending because then you're just gonna have to do this all over again. The fourth thing is to find the extra money that you can add to paying more on your debt. So unless you cannot get another job, which not everybody can, then you need to cut things from your expenses already. And this is another hard thing that people refuse to do because when Eileen came to me, she said, I have, not, I have nothing to cut from. There's nothing I could cut from it. And I said, that's not true. So let me look at your spending sheet. And together we cut and cut and cut and cut. And she saw how much we could be cutting things that she never thought they're, they're extra. She even, she had subscriptions she had no idea or she forgot about. And we just had to live a frugal life for a couple of months, but it all paid off in the end. So look at your list. Maybe you can cut going out totally, eating out, shopping instead of going to the mall. Maybe you can go to the thrift shop to just get something that you really, really need. Grocery shopping, in case you want to know how I spend very little money on groceries and we eat super healthy, check my other video on how I spend $40 per week for two people. It might help you out a lot to make you know, better choices and cheaper choices. Transportation, maybe instead of taking your car, take the public, public transportation, or uh, your to-go coffee, so make coffee at home, or subscriptions for entertainment, cut them completely or cut as much as you can, or maybe some items of luxury, maybe instead of going to the hair salon to do your hair every month, maybe you can do it at home, or maybe you can ask a friend, the same thing with your nails, or with other things like you're gonna have to be smart about it. This is not forever. You're not gonna live like this for the rest of your life, but it will be worth it to live like this for a year or a couple of months and then be debt free, then feel the way you feel right now and you have so much debt accumulated. So you wanna make changes so you can live a better life afterwards. And of course, it's all about you and it's all about your needs. And it's not easy, but it's doable. I've done it for a long time because when you have your own business cash flow is not something you can depend on so you're always going to be prepared to have money to invest to pay the bills to pay the salaries to pay all the things that you use for a business to keep it running 
and survive. So you have to be really smart about it. It's not something that it's complicated. It's just being aware of it, having a few tips and tricks that I'm teaching you right now, and then applying it constantly into your life. And again, if you need help, let me know. I'll be happy to help you out the way I did with Ailey. Because having someone to kick your ass and push you and push you and check up on you really, really, really helps. Like really, really helps. And I think you know that too. Was this video helpful for you? Did you like it? Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it so. And also share this with all your friends, your colleagues, your family members, whoever needs help to get out of debt. Bye.